Obtain the general solution to the equation dy dx equals y over x plus 2x plus 1. Well, we can see here this is a first order linear differential equation, and we can solve this by the linear approach in this case. We could also do it by the separable equations approach, but for this case, let's do linear. So in order to have it be in proper form, we need the highest order derivative to be on the left-hand side and furthest to the left, and every n plus 1 derivative of that term preceding it. By that I mean we keep dy dx, since that is in this case the highest order derivative in this function, minus, we're going to have to bring this y over x term to the left since it is technically, you know, still a part of y. And I'll rewrite it as 1 over x times y to, you know, make sure to bring out the coefficient term since we're going to need that for the integrating factor and that equals 2x plus 1, the remaining part of the equation that does not have anything to do with y in it, or the dependent variable. So to find the integrating factor, all we have to do is take the entire coefficient of the y term, which is negative 1 over x, we'll denote this as p of x, and let's rewrite that here, p of x equals negative 1 over x, and let's take the integral of that term with respect to the independent variable dx. And what is this equal to? Well, it's equal to negative integral of 1 over x. I'm bringing the negative out since it's a constant, dx. And as we know from calc 1 that the integral of 1 over x is just ln x, and we multiply by negative 1 since we brought it on the outside. I'll just leave that as the absolute value of x. And we do not need the plus c yet since we will apply that when we finally form the general solution. So, to find the integrating factor, i of x, or in some textbooks you call it mu of x, that equals e to the power of integral p of x dx, which is what we just found right here. So, let's plug that in, e to the negative ln x. So, before we simplify this, we have to make sure that there's nothing between the e and the ln term since uh, they're inverses of each other and can in fact cancel. So we can see that there's a negative one constant here. So we're going to apply a simple you know, logarithmic rule in which we bring whatever coefficients in front of the logarithm and bring it as the power of whatever is being inside the logarithm. By that I mean e to the ln x to the negative one. Since we brought the negative one coefficient as the power of x, the inner term. So now we can finally cancel e and ln, where that leaves us with i of x, or mu of x, equals x to the minus 1, which is also equivalent to 1 over x. Now since we have that term, let's multiply by everything. So we get 1 over x times dy dx. And that will be subtracted by, we can see this, there's already 1 over x, so that will become 1 over x squared don't forget the y, equals 2x times 1 over x equals 2, and 1 times 1 over x equals 1 over x. Now we're going to apply a simple product rule in which dy dx, or the derivative of y with respect to x of the term, the integrating factor 1 over x times y, it will always be mu of x times y inside the dy dx, and this equals 2 plus 1 over x. So we can prove it here that uh, this is in fact the product rule where you have the derivative of 1 over x equals 1 over x times the derivative of y plus the derivative of 1 over x times y and that is in fact true. So let's move on. We can uh, now integrate since we're trying to find y here, right? So we have to integrate both sides, and uh, this is obviously with respect to x, and this is also with respect to x. We can have 1 over x. We're essentially getting rid of the dy dx with the integral. So it becomes the inner term, 1 over x times y, equals the integral of 2 plus 1 over x dx. And you can see we have this y term we will isolate in a second. Let's now solve the right side. So that becomes 1 over x times y equals 2x. We are simply raising x to by 1 power. And plus the integral of 1 over x is again ln x. 
In this time, we can add the plus c at the right-hand side since we fully formed the general differential equation. Now, all that's left is for us to isolate y. Since it's being multiplied by 1 over x, let's multiply everything by x, and that leaves us with y. So, you know, for clarification, let me put everything out here, times x. So that isolates y, y equals 2x squared, since 2x times x is 2x squared, plus x times ln absolute value of x plus cx. And if you're thinking, oh, doesn't that just become c again? No, it doesn't, because c can only absorb constants, and x is not a constant in this case. It is its own variable. So you have to leave it c times x. And it turns out that is actually the answer to this differential equation. y equals 2x squared plus x ln x plus cx. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments below, and good luck.